It's the 20th anniversary of September 11th, and on that day, here at St. Louis School in Batesville, a history teacher was trying to explain this to students as the attacks were happening before she would learn that one of her friends would become a national hero. Janet Wilson first learned about the attacks when she got a phone call. About 8.30, I got a phone call from the cafeteria, and they said, hey, do you have your TV on? And I said, no, not yet. And they said, you should probably turn it on. And she turned on the television, and this is what was on. Because I was just like standing there pretty much looking out the window. I didn't see what caused it or if there was an impact. So you have no idea right, right oh, now? Oh, there's another one. Another plane just hit. <gasps> right? Oh. oh, my God. Another plane has just hit. It hit another building. Like, we're under attack. Like, this is for real. As a history teacher, she had to find a way to talk about history as history was unfolding. And I said, um, they ran into the Twin Towers. Well, a lot of the kids don't even know what that was. So I said, it's pretty much like the economic heartbeat of the United States, you know? And I said, the goal behind the terrorists are they're going to wipe out the economy. They were going to wipe out the Pentagon, which is the military headquarters of the United States. And they were going to wipe out either the White House or the Capitol building. That last plane heading to the Capitol or the White House never made it. That's because of the heroic actions of those on board United 93 as it crashed in Pennsylvania. Among those fighting back was her family friend, Tom Burnett. And he was one of the instrumental, one of three instrumental um, men that were involved in overtaking the cockpit. Um, and and he, he, he's a national hero. He's, he, is, he saved thousands. He and, you know, other people on 93 saved thousands of people's lives. And today we want to spotlight this American hero. Tom Burnett was good friends with Janet's brother Scott. And what you're watching is home video of Tom Burnett from a wedding in 1990. Anyway, I just wanted to say, uh, Scott, I've, I know you, I think, a little bit more better than I do Michelle. And... Uh, I'll never forget the first time we met in our training class at, uh, in California, and I think that you've changed quite a bit since that time in terms of a lot of different things. But anyway, I'm happy for you and Michelle. And Tom was a man that Janet calls extraordinary. Tom was one of the most charismatic people that you ever wanted to meet. Um, one of those types of people that when you spoke with him, you felt like, I really like this guy. This guy is, you know, he's educated, he's, he's, you know, he's, um, he's got good people skills. It's been 20 years since those attacks, and Janet is still teaching at St. Louis. Yesterday, she taught about 9-11 to a classroom of kids who weren't even alive when it happened. I want them to understand the, the, what terrorism is, and, and the, I want them to be proud to be Americans, and I want them to um, understand that different is different. It's not wrong. Um, I want them to understand that it is possible to come together. I want them to understand that there is before 9-11 and after 9-11. In Batesville, I'm Stephen Harmeyer, and that's the 812.